हेलो फ्रेंड्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू इंटरेक्ट विद डॉक्टर मिर्जुल हुसैन ही इज करेंटली वर्किंग एज असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर इन द डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ मैकेनिकल इंजीनियरिंग गीतम यूनिवर्सिटी दिस इंटरेक्शन इज गोइंग टू बी वेरी इंफॉर्मेटिव ही हैज सो मच एक्सपीरियंस एंड टुडे वी विल लर्न फ्रॉम हिम सिलेक्शन प्रोसेस फॉर असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर इन द यूनिवर्सिटीज नॉर्म्स क्राइटेरिया एंड मेनी मोर एंड वन थिंग आई वांट टू मेंशन दैट ही इज आल्सो अ गुड क्रिकेटर and uh, today we will learn from him many things so let us start uh, thank you sir for joining us today yes. uh, good morning manjesh uh, it's very nice to meet you again actually we used to play cricket together in the while i was doing phd in iit guwahati <laughs> yes uh, so first of all we would like to know about yourself okay uh, actually i am basically from assam only so i did my be a bachelor of engineering from assam engineering college in mechanical department uh, i did my mtech from iit guwahati uh, in the same iit guwahati only i continued my phd and last year 2022 i completed my phd so during my phd i worked as a associate project engineer also in an r&d project uh, then for around 4 uh, to 5 months i worked in nit calicut as a contextual faculty there and, and recently in the month of february only i joined in gitam university in the department of mechanical engineering as a assistant professor Oh, sir, means you have experience. Means before joining Gitam University, you have experience. You have worked in NIT. Uh, yes, NIT. Kalikar. I worked for around five months as a adult faculty. Adult faculty. Okay. Yes, yes. So, sir, uh, when you have passed your PhD, so that time how many papers you have? How many papers you have published? Oh, uh, at that time I was having uh, five papers. Uh, out of them, three were SCI and two were Scopus only. Okay. And in which very area you have worked? uh my working area is fracture mechanics basically solid mechanics and finite element methods so so what are the difficulties that you face during uh, phd in iit guwahati uh actually yes uh, my work is analytical so formulation of this formula actually took lot of time actually so it took around 3 to 4 years to get the exact formulas like i was driving the formulas and i not not able to do the new formula actually so it took a lot of time So yes, once sir. I got this formula, it become easier to again do the numerical analysis. But initially, the analytical part it took some time actually. Yes, sir. What is your current working area? It is same uh, with uh, PhD work, or it is you have shifted to some uh, new area? Yeah, yeah. In my PhD, I did only the brittle fracture. Now I want to go on to do the fatigue analysis. And uh, in my PhD, I did only the isotropic material. Now I want to explore with the orthotropic material or other materials also. okay sir so uh, you have uh, only the that the theor- theoretical analysis numerical analysis sir theoretical numerical analysis yes okay no experimental work yes phd i did not do any experiment but here i am planning to start experimental work okay okay and sir currently you are working in gitam university so what is the selection process there how you have got selected there yes actually there is a portal in gitam university where you can apply actually You can log okay. in to your to log in with your account, then you can give your uh, all details. So I did uh, the form. I fill up the form uh, in the month of June. I guess actually June or May or July like that. And uh, again, they call me for interview in the month of December. So my okay. <coughs> my interview was December ten, and uh, after that I got confirmation in the month of January. And I February oh. I joined here actually. Okay, so means there is a portal that uh, you have not used faculty plus any uh, direct mail. You have not uh, sent means there is a portal on which uh, that you have submitted yes, the application. Yes, yes. Gita Manu says there is yes, yes. Gita Manu says there is a portal actually. So you can upload your CV there. You can give all your information. If the university requires some faculty from the portal, they will sort it and they will call for the interview actually. Okay, so sir, it is mandatory to, to should uh, should have PhD from IIT or any government institution, private or in, private university fellow, research scholar. They can also get there. What is your experience? Uh, yeah, in Gita University, I have seen like uh, some PhD they are from IIT. Some of them PhD from some other university, like Anna University or like any state government university. Uh, many of the professors also they are they are doing PhD Gita University actually. So in okay. Gita, we are having the facility to do PhD also. So many of the faculties are doing PhD in in Gita itself. And they can become professor also. Means they can get job also. Means it is that. Yeah. 
after okay. mtech they are professor after that they can do phd also in gitam university itself and sir one another important question is it is mandatory to have post doctoral experience to get selected in gitam university as assistant professor uh, i don't think it's mandatory but definitely if you have a phd post doc experience it will help you in the other areas also like so why i am asking this sir you have a good connection okay yes so why am asking sir because you have experience uh, five months uh, so that's why uh, already a word in okay, nit college nit work i work for five months only but it was a contractual position but definitely that experience also helped me to get the job or it will definitely help me to be hmm. a better faculty actually uh, okay so means somewhat you think it helps you somewhat okay so yes yeah, definitely 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 you work in a nit or iit whatever the position is like contextual or regular faculty it will definitely give you some important experience only and sir your um, one thing that is also very important specialization matters means they are say, giving preference to the specialized person means they are seeing the specialization or simply they are selecting from any background of mechanical engineering uh, you are saying about the gitam university ha uh, gitam university i am talking about gitam okay uh, i i have I, i actually i cannot say that they have seen the specialization or directly from the interview they have selected mm. i think they have seen all actually wherever your btech wherever is from mtech what is your phd what is the area apart from that the interview okay. also matters i think all these together they only they uh, consider for a selection so like sir you have seen na in an iit what they are saying that suppose i am 3d working in 3d printing so they will not select another candidate in 3d printing so Uh, they are also that's why i am asking if this specialization matters or not yes iit iit is different actually suppose they want robotics people they will take only robotics people uh, okay yes sir but uh, in nit nit is different nit you have to go through a written test okay uh, whoever qualifies the written test then only they will go to the interview process from them only they selected suppose they require a, like a robotics people it may happen like robotics people may not qualify written test so they have to mm-hmm. take some other people it's not a but in private also it become different only okay so in every institute the uh, like this criteria doesn't fit actually in iit the required robotics they will go for robotics only but in i think the other than iit is uh, that they don't see that much actually. okay mainly your paper uh, and it performance in the interview that uh, and some portal experience if you have then i think it more matters definitely okay. definitely yes okay sir and uh, you have given the interview there so what is the difficulty level and how many members have taken your interview i think it was 5 to 6 member and uh, mm-hmm. i guess there was a member from iit from iit actually. maybe he is from iit madras so definitely they will put some faculty from iit also and okay. the interview was around maybe 20 to an hour 20 minutes to happen over here okay so it was difficult easy for you. what what was it was there sir uh, actually they asked me some basic questions from my btech actually okay. then they are more interested to know what is my future plan actually hmm. and uh, they wanted to know what like get them they are having these these facilities what how i can utilize their facility to do my job actually mm-hmm. uh, how is the work work also there in uh, gitam university how is the timing for Oh, work culture. Uh, I feel it's good only. I joined just recently only. It's one month, but I feel it's good only. Okay. Yeah. And workload, sir, heavy or moderate type workload? Oh, uh, workload. Actually, yeah. I joined in between the semester. Actually, I joined in February. By that time, the semester all started. So I joined. So I took. So uh, I'm I'm taking one theory class. I, I'm taking two labs. Okay. So uh, workload is means moderate type means you can manage easily means e- moderate e- yes 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 uh, it, okay. it, it, it is manageable yes uh, manageable sir and uh, I cannot ask directly but uh, you can tell in another way what is the salary there? Ah, uh, Gitam salary they are giving the like as per the like NIT assistant professor salary they are giving actually yeah. Oh, uh, the the same same salary they are giving okay. Yes, and uh, yes. here sir uh, uh, now you are in bangalore campus so uh, yes. there is any faculty grading system or uh, uh, what you see in the career growth there I means your yes yes that also i have seen like there is an internal portal so hmm. so 
they are also here having some points actually like if you are publishing some paper that you will have some points you are giving some projects that also you will get some points accordingly you are doing some classes according to the feedback also you will get some points so these points after that they will calculate and they will help you in get a promotion or they will help you in the like uh, salary increment also uh, okay. yeah, career is there actually yes and one thing sir uh, that is also important in some university you will see that uh, if you are publishing a paper in SCI some uh, some money means some award reward you can say they are giving here also it is yes it is there I heard from my, uh, my seniors actually but I not exactly clear what is the amount but it is there actually yes. okay 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 so how far so is your uh, yes, sir. They used to encourage the like faculty to publish more in, more papers or to write the projects, and they help also like whatever possible way. Okay. So how far is your uh, university from the uh, city area? Like uh, airport and oh, uh, this thing. From airport is twenty five kilometer. And from a station Bangalore. Bangalore there is Yashwantpur station. From there it will be maybe forty five kilometer. Oh, from airport it is uh, somewhat near. It is nearer, yes, it is 25 kilometers and it is in the highway, so it doesn't take much more than 30 minutes. Uh, okay, sir. It so, all the city, yeah. okay, not more than 30 minutes from the yeah. airport. Okay, so that yeah. is good. Uh, good. And uh, one thing, sir, uh, Miss Samarty, it is on a remote location, so near nearest you can say city, which is how much far away? Actually, <clears throat> there is in some apartment which is around two to three kilometers. Okay, two to some three apartments kilometers. Some there, there it will be around five six kilometers. There is a railway station. There is a, around uh, five kilometers from the campus, local okay. railway station. And there are some other apartments who are around seven kilometer, ten kilometers, just like this only. So you are living where, sir? Means from college you are living where? Going college? Or... I am living around uh, twelve kilometers. Okay. Yeah, but uh, bus facilities are there, so mm. morning they will pick it up and they will drop also. Okay, okay. Mm. And uh, now only one month uh, you have uh, completed, so the, yes. it is not unfair to ask this question, but uh, uh, what is the job security? So even back little campus, so you have seen there in Gethin University, that is the main campus, so feedback, okay. uh, yes sir. So what will you do? Uh, actually, there are some faculties I have seen like they are working from the very first year in the Bangalore campus. They are here for the 10, 12 years. They are here. So yeah. Bangalore is a new campus. So it is around 12 years. So some faculties are there still here up to from 12 years. But in Bishakapattanam, there are faculties where they are for 30 years also. Like, but if you are oh. performing good, uh, it's good also. Yes. Um, job security is very good. It's excellent, yeah. we can say. And yeah. uh, also important question, sir. Already you have told uh, there is a uh, in interview they are asking question. Uh, so if you are fitting in the, their research scope, then they are they, they are selecting you. So what is their research uh, scope is there in this university? What do you see? Oh, research scope. Okay, they already have some machineries like uh, how they can use these uh, machineries, or they have some computational facilities how they can use. Apart from that, suppose for your uh, research, anything is very urgent. You require this thing. Uh, you can approach the like a director, sir, or like a dean of engineering. They will definitely help you to procure this thing, actually. Oh, okay, means so you will de definitely get whatever re it is required. Yes, sir. I meet my director, sir. He's also actually a mechanical also. So he directly oh. said me, like, if you require any facilities other than whichever available, you can approach us, then uh, we will definitely try to get these things actually. So, this is why they are much interested actually. Uh, okay. And uh, sir, uh, very important question. Nowadays, mechanical engineers sir, some are get demotivated. So, what you can say sir, what is the scope after PhD in mechanical engineering especially? Uh, yes, yes, that is one of the concern. But uh, with time, sometimes you have to change actually. Okay, like uh, our field, suppose minus solid mechanics. So if you go only with the solid mechanics, sometimes it may be difficult to fit in the like new education system or with the company also. So you have to add something else, like to, to go to the new material or sometimes you have to go to the new methods. You have to apply some AI ML in your uh, research area somehow. Then you can fit into this uh, uh, new uh, the updated version of this uh, mechanical engineering. Okay. So what is your uh, future plan after? Uh, okay. 
you are already in the teaching and research field do you have any yes, other sir. plan I, i already said like uh, i want to learn this ai ml apart from that uh, i want to do research in biomechanics also let's see how i can proceed from solid mechanics to biomechanics okay biomechanics that is yes. very emerging area emerging already somewhat uh, foreign university they are doing research is going on there, but still in india it is emerging india ha uh, it is in uh, emerging oh, yes, state uh, yes, in future definitely i will try to move to biofuel also yes uh that is good uh, that is very demanding area also and sir now you have experience and uh, you are working there so everything you have so you are best person to give the suggestion so what will be your best suggestion to the parents oh uh, those who are doing phd <laughs> yes sir <laughs> i think yes 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 uh, sometimes what happens like doing phd we used to forget our btech courses okay okay so but wherever you go you go to nit you go to any private colleges they will ask you the research question but it is secondary first you have to have your btech knowledge first actually because you go to any nit they will take a written test that is also gate syllabus that top to you have to clear after that there will be a departmental presentation then you have to present only on topic that is related to btech only mm-hmm. it may be anything mm-hmm. like fluid mechanics thermal thermodynamics solid mechanics there also you will be asked on the level of btech So sometimes what happens we do we are doing PhD for five years four years six years so we used to forget this BTEC and we used to say like okay this is uh, heat transfer is not my field I will not answer anything or I will not read this thing this is not good actually so you have to be familiar with your BTEC subjects apart from your PhD research topic that I want to say actually okay so, so there are two to, yes, uh, yes sir, I yes, want sir. to say one more thing suppose someone is about to complete his PhD or someone is uh, like complete just recently completed he wants to get some good job. I suggest them you prepare very well for next gate. So to the 24 gate you prepare, yeah. it will help you definitely in cracking the interviews. Uh, yes, sir. We uh, already uh, you have said uh, that our uh, departmental interview uh, they are asking yes. about the research. They are taking the research no, no, presentation. No, no. Departmental presentation they will tell you to present any topic on B-Tech level. That's B-Tech level. Experience. Yeah, you can choose any topic. Maybe five minutes, ten minutes. You have to present. After that, on that topic itself, they will ask questions. Like okay, and then, then after that, go, yes, final interview. After that only, you will go to the interview panel. Okay, so okay. So this is uh, very much essential to remember this B Tech course actually. Oh, so that is a very good suggestion, sir. So, uh, uh, so sir, thank you very much uh, to interact with us, and you have given the very valuable information. and this information is very crucial especially who has just uh, k- just passed the uh, phd mm-hmm. from mechanical engineering de- department especially so because uh, nowadays uh, we, we have also i have also seen the jobs are uh, very less for phd especially in mechanical engineering so they will get benefit from your uh, from this interaction and they will learn you should know the basics this is the fundamental thing otherwise it will be going to difficult for get uh, selected as a assistant professor thank you sir for joining thank you thank you thank you thank you for having me here yes sir thank you sir once again for interacting with us